Hey, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot to do your year ahead 2021, the year of decisions for Aries, folks. The reason I'm yelling is because I'm mad as hell and I can't take it anymore. This is the 19th, 20th, 21st take of this freaking video, and I'm just going to keep recording. If somebody calls, interrupts it, I'm just going to start it over. <laughs> Another text message come through, I'll just start the motherfucker over. I'm just, I'm irritated. <laughs> so don't, don't take it personally. Um, this is the year decision making for Aries folks. You are going to be deciding, should I stay or should I go? Um, you got all these like twos, you got two of swords, two of wands, two of pentacles. You've got even, you know, two tens, two nines, two eights. I mean, just lots of twos. Twos are choices. Um, in your love life, look at this. You got the world in your hands. Even if you don't feel like it, you got the world in your hands. You are, if you're single, you'll be in a relationship but you're looking across like waiting for your ships to come in um don't just sit around and waiting you know go out there and you'll you're gonna find somebody if you're you know traveling if you're on vacation if you're on the water near water um that's you most likely where you're gonna meet somebody but you're not gonna meet somebody at home sitting there on your computer unless you meet somebody on a dating app that is living a long distance away because you know you got to travel to them um that could be a possibility. That could be foreign, that kind of thing. You might have to travel across water to see them. But if you're in a relationship and you know, it's, you're already in one and it's going well, I'm, I'd be surprised if you're watching this. But if you are, thank you. And if you are, things will move up to a more committed level. If they're already in some kind of commitment, that commitment will increase in some way. You move in together, get engaged, get married, whatever. If you're in a relationship and it's been rocky, this is you looking across going, is the grass greener on the other side? Probably if it's fertilized with bullshit. <laughs> Just be cautious. Be aware of that. Don't always be ready to jump ship because you think things are better elsewhere. It, it usually isn't. It's just a temptation. So just... Make sure you take stock of what you really, really have. Be realistic about it and, and take an honest to God look. It's best to take care of what you already have than to, to ditch it for something that might be better only to have regret and then turn around and go, oh, wait, crap. And then that person's gone or they're like, you know, screw you. You didn't treat me right. Yeah. So just try to appreciate what you have if you can while you have it. Now, if you're not satisfied, if you're not fulfilled, okay, then that could be why you're here. You want to see, is it going to get better? And I'll do a draw. In fact, um, while we're doing that, I'll just do it right now on the spur of the moment. Um, it, for the Aries folks that are in a relationship and they're wanting to see if it's going to get better, because that's the decision making. And even no matter what I pull, you're still going to have that decision making going on. Um, should I stay or should I go? You're not going to have a whole lot of emotions invested in this year. You have one cup card, the nine of cups in your um, eighth house of debt, death, taxes, partners, money, and all that, which actually won't be an issue for you this year. Um, you're, you're, Possessions might be some kind of a burden to you, but money, I don't think, I don't see you having a shortage of money. I do see you having, you know, your possessions being a pain in the ass. They're just burdensome. Your home life might be burdensome as well. Maybe you are living with someone who, I don't know, you just, you're not happy with the situation um, because you get the Ten of Wands, which is like a burden card. You're carrying all the burden on your back. You feel like you're doing all the fucking work. And you're doing more effort, putting more effort into it than they are. Let's see what we got here. Um, that Ace of Pentacles. So, I do see that as, actually, I see that as good. It's a, it shows the, like, the Aces are seed cards planting the seed to grow something. And Pentacles are very earthy, um, stability, um, tangible type things. So that's actually a great card for, for relationship. Um, if you are not in a relationship that shows you starting a new relationship and it's, it looks good with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, what else? Ace of Cups. Oh, I like that. Okay. Watch this next card be a real stinker. Okay. Hey, hey, shit, man. I <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I don't give up. But no, this is good. Aries, this is good, man. I can't complain. A lot of you all, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. When I ask for clarification on this Two of Wands for Aries folks, if things are, if you're having issues in your relationship, 
expect a new start in your love and and money, but you new start with um stability that leads to happiness. Have a look at this. That's even a marriage card. That's a marriage card, and actually so is this. That's a marriage card as well. Um, so you got two marriage cards. For a lot of Aries folks, you that <laughs> I do see it as improving. Maybe after you do that whole should I stay or should I go? Decision making. It's going to, I think, ultimately lead to new starts, um, new beginnings, and it's going to lead to a higher level of commitment, happiness. For those of you who are single, that's freaking great. I mean, Ten of Cups is like, <laughs> congratulations. Um, so for the next 30 days, oh, did I go over? Okay, so you're, I went over your home life, um, your career, you'll be moving, a lot of y'all be moving on. Anything that you consider um, as a source of pleasure makes you happy. Um, children will call you. There could be kind of a lot of work. I mean, not burdensome, but you're going to do a lot of work um, in the name of anything that you that makes you happy or brings you pleasure. Um, you can put a lot of work into it, but it's also going to feel like your play is also going to feel a little bit like work. So. I don't know. I think for a lot, you know what, for some of you out there that are looking for a new career path, if there's something that you really enjoy doing, I would say this to anybody, but if there's something that you really enjoy doing, putting work into something that is play might be what pays off. That might be the, the job that you might want to move on to, something like that. Just throwing that out there. The next 30 days in love for Aries folks. You know what, let's just watch this. If this video has, if I gotta start this thing all over again, I will. Because I just put all the cards together and then shuffled, and then a freaking call came through and killed it. And it'll probably happen again. I'm probably gonna have to take this 50,000 times, and I will. I will do it. I got Taurus rising and Venus and Taurus. Don't think I'm not determined. All right, so let's actually throw these in too. So the next 30 days for my Aries folks Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus folks. Um, next 30 days in love. Let's shuffle. In love. In love. Next 30 days in love. Here we go. What's... Got the sun. Got the devil. Good Lord. And choices. Ah, so, be careful about your choices. Don't let your choices cause you to do things that you should not do. Um, but with the sun card... Whatever, just be cautious. Anything that you do, anything that you try to put energy into right now, anything you put energy into right now is going to grow. So where, where intention goes, um, energy flows. So just when you're, don't be, if you are in a relationship, I know I said you got to have choices, choice between this one or that one, but don't start looking outside your relationship if you haven't given it fully, given fully to what you have. Just... Pay attention and really decide because only start looking outside your relationship if you really and truly feel like you're done. You're just done, done. You, you've really, you've had enough. You're calling it quits. And make it clear to the other person. Do the right thing. Don't try because you're otherwise you're going to end up juggling. That's what twos can also be is somebody juggling. Don't be, don't be a juggler. You don't want somebody juggling you. Don't juggle them because um, that's the next 30 days. Next seven days... What's the next seven days going to be like? Um, next seven days in love. Next seven days in love for my Aries folks. Magician. Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. That's a sex card. So a lot of y'all are going to be <laughs> working hard at... <laughs> How do I say this? Getting it on. I mean, Aries. Come on, y'all. Y'all love it. You love it. Here. You'll be doing the deed. Because <laughs> you're going to be working hard trying to manifest it. <laughs> uh, Queen of Pentacles is actually is holding on to. So for the next seven days, you'll probably be holding on to what you have. And just trying to enjoy a little crease in the sheets. <laughs> Um, okay, so with that said, let's do um, one of these cards. They're nice little saying cards. 
I have. I'm telling you, I fully expect this video to get interrupted and me just to start the freaking thing all over again. That is a source of frustration. That's going to be what my year is, I guess. Um, if plan A didn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters. <laughs> there you go. And Donna's Destiny cards. Let's see what they have to say about it. Or anything. Um, blank cards are positive. It just means anything's possible. It's like a wild card. It's a good thing. Um, so for Aries, <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> I'm laughing because I swear to God, it seems like every time I pull cards for myself, these cards call me a bitch. And I and I made these cards, and they call me a bitch. And we'll use these. All right, so six cards. Uh, new love is coming in very soon. Swipe left, pass. Don't waste your time. Cook them a special meal. Okay, that's weird. So don't waste your time, but cook them a special meal. Makes no sense. I think uh, these cards are a little bit bipolar. And then... Um, You'll meet a relative of theirs. <laughs> okay. That's fun. And then they have a wandering eye. Ooh, watch out. So, yeah. New love coming in. Swipe left past. Don't waste your time. Cook them a special meal. You'll meet a relative of theirs. And they have a wandering eye. So, is it past? Don't waste your time on the one you have. A new love is coming in. Cook them a special meal. And you'll meet a relative of theirs. I don't know. Whatever. So let's roll to see who we're going to read for next time. Jeebus. Gemini. You know what? Actually, we have here. I'll, I'll, this is how we're going to do it. Because we only have two signs. we got Scorpio and Capricorn, I think it is, to read for. That's it. That's what's left. So um, odd is Capricorn and even is Scorpio. Capricorn it is. <laughs> All right, so I can't believe I actually got through this thing without getting interrupted. I cannot believe it. Aries, love y'all. Hey, I'm going to do um, how do they feel about you or, or how do they feel um, after I do the year ahead. So I'm going to do how they feel. All right.